Hi, my name is Thomas Brown from Qualia Counseling Services with physical locations in Brantford on the Ashwegan First Nations Reserve and in Kitchener and Waterloo. Our services are also available virtually over the telephone or through various online platforms such as Zoom or Skype. Qualia Counseling Services is predominantly a cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT clinic. We use this particular approach to psychotherapy to help our clients, some of which are kids right up to senior citizens with a variety of challenges in their lives. Some of the challenges we might consider clinical like uh, depression or anxiety or a panic disorder and other of the challenges might be considered subclinical like stress or parenting concerns or struggles or relationship strain and other issues such as those. Cognitive therapy really looks at our thinking, cognitive therapy, thinking. Uh, we take a look at people's situations in their lives and kind of unearth or raise our awareness about the meanings or the narratives or the stories that we're putting on those situations and wondering if those are accurate, wondering if those are helpful. Are those, you know, meanings that are helping me get through my day and function well, or are those meanings that are kind of getting me stuck in negativity or in fear? In my work, I like to use a lot of metaphor, a lot of creativity, and a lot of art. And I realized uh, in my home, now that I'm spending more time here, such as many of you are, I realize I have a piece of art here that I can use to kind of demonstrate or, or kind of use as a tool or a metaphor to help with this uh, idea of cognitive therapy. So I'm just going to angle my camera here a little bit. Here's a piece of art that's hanging in my house by Ian Sheldon, who is an, uh, an Albertan artist. And if we were to describe this picture, one way that we could describe it would be to say, oh, there's dark clouds and there's rain. This is a stormy picture. That would be one kind of meaning or narrative that we could put on this. Another meaning or narrative that we could put on this, depending on kind of our perspective, would be, oh, no, no, this is, this is a very light, hopeful picture. Um, there's bright clouds here. The rain is going away. Look, there's light there on the field. This is a very, uh, you know, bright, light picture. And in either case, I think that we're kind of failing to describe really the whole the whole scene or the whole piece of art. Um, we're not naming kind of all of the elements here, but only focusing on certain bits of it. And if we were to name and really describe it, we'd say this is maybe a, a dynamic or changing landscape with lights and darks, with rain on some parts and, and light um, in other parts. We can use the same kind of thinking or the same kind of sense of uh, perspective and where we're letting our attention fall or our thinking fall when we look at a situation like we're in right now, which of course is a very serious situation and one that we have to take seriously and, and pay attention to. But one way that we could look at it, uh, which would be um, sort of lead us to feeling quite scared and maybe even panicky, would this is a total crisis. We are in for it. The world is doomed. Um, you know, it's getting worse and worse. And, uh, you know, there's no hope for us. And like I said, that type of thinking is extreme. And as I say it, I'm feeling kind of panicky and kind of scared. So that's one way that we could look at the situation around us and where our attention could fall. Another way could we could be, we could be sort of nonchalant and say, ah, oh, no big deal. You know, um, I don't think that it's all that big a deal and I'm not going to pay too much attention to it. Uh, I've heard it's just like the flu. And maybe that would make us feel uh, maybe kind of calm, maybe kind of naive and, um, you know, kind of laissez-faire in terms of how we're approaching it. And just like when we were describing the piece of art here, um, I don't think that we're really naming or paying attention to all the important parts or naming the whole picture here. Just like I don't think we need to do something and think in ways that are very panicky, we also don't want to look at it at the situation around us as something is not a big deal and kind of nonchalant. And so cognitive therapy would invite us to find a kind of a middle ground and say, well, this is a time when we have to take precautions. It's a time when we have to be cautious and, and listen to what's going on around us. But it's also not a time to panic or to, um, you know, lose all hope. It's a time to that we're noticing that people are coming together and that we're using technology in all sorts of interesting ways. And it'll be interesting to see what comes out of this. So just like we can use this piece of art and the different perspectives that come from that, or our thinking in terms of looking at this pandemic, we can use cognitive therapy to look at all sorts of situations in our lives and help us to kind of find again that, that middle ground, that area that is not extreme, that is functional and adaptive and helpful and helps us get us through a day in, in a balanced type of way. Thanks a lot.